What's going down, y'all? Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a crazy, crazy transformation. The haircut is going to be a mid taper, mid ball taper. I don't know what you guys call it. It could be a mid taper, high taper. Again, if you guys do like the video, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. And if I am talking funny throughout the video, I went to the dentist this morning, got a deep cleaning. It was digging all in the nigga mouth and shit, so please excuse that. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, y'all pray for me on this one, man, I swear. We're gonna start by taking a, his hair down using the Andis Masters. I think that's a number two guard, not to be certain. I always start off with a bigger guard or a bigger size than I want to finish with, because if I go too low, I can't grow the hair back, so. Why I'm always feeling so depressed? Why I'm always feeling so depressed? Ah, uh, no. Cause my still popping Lord tabs. Mine still popping Lord tabs. Ah. Uh. I eventually grab the Oster 76ers with the one and a half on there and go against the grain. After this step, I promise you I brush this dude's hair for like 10 minutes using alcohol, hella alcohol, trying to clean his scalp and trying to lay the hair down in its natural pattern. We're gonna ball out his neck taper. I always start at the bottom of his earlobes and make a line straight across. And then I flip the clipper over and then I balled it out, balled it out like that. No, I've been praying for a better outcome. They had me in the middle like a mouth boom. I no, I'm just trying to drop another album, but honestly I'm doing Same thing with his neck taper. I start at the bottom of his box and then I go across to the top of his ear. Flip the clipper over and then I bought that out. Why these lame rappers always flex? Ah, no. See me and them just really don't connect. But I'ma always give them their respect. Ah, no. Moving on to his neck taper, I grab my fast feeds closed. Uh, if you didn't watch my last videos, uh, fast feeds are my favorite clipper. Uh, we're gonna make our first guideline using that. If we all can coexist, I wonder if we all can coexist. Ah, no. Then we're gonna open our clipper and make our another guideline. No, everybody know everything. Everybody know everything. Ah, no. If you guys didn't watch my last video, uh, to take that fade line out that we just created in between the two layers, it's something I call a trigger play. It's where you're moving the lever up and down, up and down, flicking out, trying to hit that line. With our 116th closed and make another uh, another guideline. And then we're gonna go back to open. And this part we're gonna fade downwards because uh, I've seen a lot of dark spots in his hair. Uh, as you can imagine, his hair had a lot of dark spots from being so long for so long. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, but <laughs> we're gonna fade downwards, open and close the lever. This next part was probably the hardest part of his whole haircut. It's where all the dark spots in his head was, if you guys can see it, but it looked like little potholes on the top of his head right there. And I, I really worked at, even after the video, after the video was over, I went back and spent like five minutes trying to trying to knock those dark spots out. I got a demon on my shoulder and back. I pray I don't look in the mirror and be terrified by that. They tell me you could do whatever you like. If you listen to me, you could have a hell of a life. It's not likely that my lungs will survive through the night. My only nightmare is watching life pass me by. It's like my clock is sipping Red Bull. I watch time fly. Feel it bringing me down. The harder I try, demons telling me if you want happiness, then the recipes going out every night until you rest in peace. It's trying to burn me to the twist. The side taper, we're gonna go Oscar Fast Beats closed and make our first guideline. Damn, I can't quit. I tried to resist, but can't persist. I feel like I fell in the deepest abyss. It's either I change or cease to exist. We're gonna open up our lever and make another guideline to the same size. 100 grand standing at the summer jam. That's why I gotta go. 
This is why I gotta go, leaving everything I know. Just and if you guys can probably guess, we're gonna trigger play the the uh, the fade line in the middle, opening, closing our lever, flicking out. What have you been missing? No supervision, we just loop the vision. Then we're gonna grab our 116th guard, closed. And with this 116th, uh, it was able to fade out the rest of his, his taper. Normally, I would grab like a one guard and flick out to the top of his taper, but this 116th guard open all the way got the job done. Call the doctor, we the illest motherfuckers alive. Open your eyes. I feel like I'm dreaming like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. I feel like I'm dreaming like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. I feel it repeating like every day. God damn, this your shit. Tell your friends if they hop in. What's good? What's good? God damn, this your shit. Tell your friends if they hop in. What's good? What's good? All I really wanted was for moms to be proud of me. I will do a full beard video another time for you guys. But a little overview of this one, I started out with the clipper close, hit it, open up a little bit, hit it again, open up, hit it until the until it's faded. My nigga don't listen when they say it get better with time. If you really want to change, it will start with your mind. Well, here you go. I know you feel Moving on to the most important part of his haircut is the lineup. The lineup is going to make him look like he did get a haircut. <laughs> It's the first thing people notice in a haircut is the lineup, so I always make sure that's crispy. But it'll come a day when all that shit ain't enough. Then all you gotta do is wake up. God damn, nigga. Chilling on the top of the pyramid, got my feet in the sand. All the knowledge that I have from a man. I'm creative with my pants in my hand. Use the paper as a parachute, I'll probably land. I was born in that nine to that nine. A generation who was only taught to point and shoot. Never think, never ask questions for a point of view. Do what you know and never seek out the truth. Man. They say never be emotional. My client was getting a part. It was, this part looks like it's going straight, um, but in person it has like a little angle to it. I put a little curve to it. Oh, what do you do when another touch your manhood? Up to no damn good. Do you grab the two knives? Switch it to that not two point and shoot, blow his brains over the floor so you can see his point of view. Or do you think about your future fame? Moving on to the lineup around his ears, I always use the corner of the blade around his ears. That's a must. It's like it's like a pencil. The corner of the blade on any lineup is just like a pencil. So you want to keep this part natural, keep it sharp. Uh, this part is what's going to bring out your neck taper. And like I said, even here you can see the dark spots in his taper. So after the video. I spent like five minutes, I kid you not, trying to fade those lines out or fade the dark spots out. I'm in that zone. I was born in that nine to a generation who was only taught to And like I said, I will do a full beard lineup fade video for you guys. But for right, for right now, you just keep it natural, keep it sharp. Uh, I don't like to make it too sharp using the, the clippers because I don't want to shrink his beard if that makes sense. And with the razor, that's where I do most of my work on beards, I'm trying to make that line crispy and sharp. I know I'm rambling, I told you I can't talk today, man. The dentist said, fuck me up. But it, it, we go, we go rock with it, man. I'm just trying to open those, so break it down, chop it up, inhale it and possibly overdose. Oh snap. I'm riding in the Civic with the Bible in my lap. And we're gonna bring out his taper a little more. We're gonna grab our shaver. This part is really important to me because it gives it more gradiency, if that makes sense. It makes the, the taper pop out a little more. You got your wave out the window, I can tell. She bad, bad, she knows it. I mean, real bad, the hot froze and we turn the heat up the dash fog in. And I seen a little line that I made with the shaver, so I went with my T liners and knocked that out real quick. Yeah, for hot boxing, we had to switch to full of flame torches. And I also seen a dark spot in his beard because I don't know, I couldn't really see his beard because the lighting was so bright. So I just decided to knock any dark spots out I seen. Yeah. 
moving on to the straight razor. Uh, I said this in my last video, so you guys should check that out. But it's real simple. Just stretch the skin, keep the razor flat. Again, I don't use any gel or shaving cream or anything like that. Uh, dry shaves works for me. To each his own, to you guys. I loop the service, but I left my box of black and mouths in that Honda Civic. Emptied out the swisher and we put some ganja in it. I was learning, hella, trying to get better with the craft. Now everybody believe it. And I've been reading, hella, nowadays I don't even know what I choose to believe in, but I've been chilling. Chilling in the Honda Civic whipping for your soul. And this is the part of the video where my arms are getting in the way. I actually forgot we were recording. <laughs> but uh, with the razor, you just. I don't like when people's beard just goes straight down. I like to have that little curve to it, so. I take my time, make sure the details are are popping out. Lining up a beard with the razor is probably my favorite thing to do in a haircut. I mean, it's simple, but I just enjoy doing it. And to finish this cut, I always use shears. You guys know that from the last video. And I noticed I forgot to hit the shaver on this side of his taper, so I just knocked that out real quick. And that's basically it, man. Y'all just witnessed me save this dude's life. Uh, hit that hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment. Peace. Call me when trying to send you a signal.